This is my third year since I've been here. So I'm very enjoying, you know, being here so there's to be speaker uh, as well as the also the participant. Um, I think the IoT in actions, the more important they is over three areas. Uh, I think the number one is technology and innovation. Okay, that's why we keep up with it. We think that we can just get the new ideas, the new tools, the new technologies every year. The second it is the partnership. Yeah, I think the Microsoft is very good at building up the, the ecosystem. So that's very important that because the IoT, you can't just do it by yourself. We need the partnership. So here we can meet the, you know, we can meet the partnership, or we can just mingle with the, all the different suppliers. That everyone has the unique the domain knowledge, and then that's what we need. I think that's important. The third thing it is the ecosystem, like I said, you know, which it is also the business model. That's uh, I think the first year so it could be technology from IoT in action. The second year could be partnership. Now I think the move into what we call the business model. So in terms of the digital transformation, not enough. We have to do the business transformation. How can I make the money? You know, everyone can really get a profit from this the uh, this industry. I think the that's very important. So we learn a lot from this event. Today, um, be very honored to have this opportunity to share with the everyone regarding the case study. That means in the last few years, so we have been working so hard to implement the IoT, uh, especially so we got opportunity working with the government uh, to implement the one of the uh, location at the Taoyuan Qingpu. Uh, this is the uh, kind of uh, models for the uh, small city. So I would like to share some experience and also which is the journey in the last few, probably few months, uh, you know, we're working with them. I guess uh, that includes the uh, probably 10 to 12, the different, the small applications. Each of them uh, will be very uh, like uh, innovative and also be very benefited to the, uh, the city governments as, as well. For IoT, we actually focus on the two areas. One is the small city, the other is the small manufacturing. But here, we demonstrate that it's pretty much it is the relators to a uh, small city. Uh, especially, we use the street, uh, small street lights that is, as the entry points that is to get into the small city market. I guess the uh, small lighting, as uh, everyone knows, uh, you know, the city, nothing more than just the street light. Uh, so we based on the street light, we make it smarter, number one. And then also we collect all the data, which it is more than just lighting control, could be like environmental monitoring, so it could be traffic management, so it could be uh, the other, like a small, par uh, small parking. All of those things is that can be the managed and also uh, data collected. It's the based on uh, the uh, smart lighting system. So we actually divide it into three phases. Number one is the phase one we call the uh, smart lighting, just for lighting control. Phase two we do the we call the smart lighting pole. That means the more than just the smart lighting, uh, also includes the video cameras, uh, including the uh, sensors for environmental monitoring, all of those. Then we now since get into the phase three, which it is uh, the whole smart city. That means the based on the street lights, but we offer much more the smart applications in the city. Now it's IoT several years ago could be a new market. Now I think the more and more vendors, the suppliers the jump in, so become very competitive. But we're one of the pioneers. Uh, we start three years ago working with the uh, Microsoft. Uh, so we believe the you know with the partnership with the Microsoft, uh, you know definitely uh, the branding so will increase the tremendously. Number one, number two is the you know technology. Is we just keep up with the the new technologies with the Microsoft with the Intel as well. Number three, I think the more important is that we have a trial side. You know the small city is not just uh, you know you can play in the lab. You have to go to the real world just to install. So that's why we work with the uh, Taoyuan city governments that they do have uh, uh, offer kind of uh, the trial side. So we 
can have a we will call it the living lab, which would install all the the, the smart applications or tools, the devices that we develop in that locations. So I think that with the trial experiences, we definitely, uh, you know, will demonstrate uh, we can deal with the real world issues, not just in the lab. I think the IoT, in terms of the Azure and IoT offers by Microsoft, uh, uh, we follow up, uh, as I said, you know, we follow up very closely. Um, I think the more than just IoT Hub or IoT, uh, the well, Azure, uh, IoT, those type of the tools that we're already using, I think that the newly tools which is coming up recently, uh, like, um, um, uh, let me see, D uh, DPS, device provisioning system, like a PMP, uh, plug and play, uh, also even the ADU, Azure device, the update, those tools, uh, you know, we were all like early access, you know, from the day one, we work with the Microsoft. Um, at one hand, we learn a lot. The other thing it is uh, we're strongly, you know, really make the, our partnership even stronger. And then and I believe that based on the, um, the ecosystem Microsoft built up, we will be able to benefit and uh, go with the Microsoft the, to the customer side. I think the most of the exciting thing it is um, the um, Microsoft is, uh, keep coming up with the new tools, which it is more than just the going away up like a more data analytics or big data, that type of things, AI. Uh, we're still not that far yet. But on the other hand, uh, we're hardware company. So we're more concerned uh, like uh, IoT devices and also gateway, those layer. I think the more and more tools are coming up, which will make us this more exciting. For example, like I said, PMP, plug and play, those are specifically for the device level. And then also the ADU, which is Azure device update at the OS level, which it is that will help us tremendously. That in other words, that we will be able to, from nodes to gateway, from gateway to cloud, which it is the whole subsystem will be much more comprehensive than before. Well, if you ask me this question three or five years ago, I would say it's so promising. But actually, uh, we see the IoT involving is uh, slower than we expect. Yeah, in the last few years. The reason is uh, it's so fracturated. In other words, uh, it, it's, a, uh, it, it's more or less like, uh, like um, the uh, uh, IPC business, uh, which it is a uh, high mix, uh, low volumes. So every piece you need the domain knowledge. So in other words, it's hard to get the domain knowledge, hard to find out the um, the, uh, the the business profitable business model. So those I think the hurdle we have to overcome. But I see the trend that it is coming uh, clear, uh, more clear is that, that the this is the only ways to go for the technology wise, uh, for the partnerships, uh, even for the business. Um, the I, I think the future IoT definitely is going to be more than just the uh, volume. I think that it's, it's going to be part of the, our life. Yeah, so we look forward it and uh, we will continue to work with the Microsoft, the special Azure, you know, help us, to, you know, tremendously on the, the whole system design part.